to access public spaces. Ivan Olonyolo, take it away. Good morning. Well, a very good morning to you, Rami Obsiku, and our audience. I am coming to you from Nkumba University in Katabi Town Council, Waxo District, as we are counting days to the reopening of the tertiary institutions and universities, of course. According to the president, the first of November, these institutions should be, you know, reopening their physical classes. But of course, he went ahead to say that uh, for these institutions to open, then teaching and non-teaching staff should, you know, get their vaccination jabs. And apparently, many of them are moving out to go and receive these vaccines. And we know, of course, in the work to increase the vaccine uptake, many other institutions and organizations have set up uh, guidelines, especially here in Entebbe, among them is the uh, National Medical Stores, which is saying that they will not allow any of their staff or visitors who are accessing the facility if someone does not present a vaccination card. But we have also seen this in many other inst uh, you know, institutions, although they have a legal implication. And among them is also Nkumba University, which has also issued a notice to all the teaching, non-teaching staff and students, and are saying they will not allow them to access uh, the university on first if someone does not present uh, the vaccination card. And also the vaccination center has been set inside here, and even the local communities around are also uh, accessing uh, the vaccination exercise from inside. If I can just quickly read through the letter that has been the notice that has been issued is saying, as you are aware, His Excellency Yawari Kagutam 7 allowed a post-secondary education institutions to reopen physical classes starting on Monday 1st, November 2021. 20, if I cut it short, the communication is therefore to inform you that staff and the students who have been vaccinated, at least one jab or one dose, shall be allowed to access the university premises uh, starting Monday 1st, November. COVID-19 vaccination certificate shall be required at the entrance of uh, the university. But of course, we know that as this happens, like I earlier said, there is a legal implication that most of the institutions do not uh, bear in mind. But I just, to, uh, I just want to talk to uh, the guild leadership. I am joined by the guild representative to just make us understand. What do they make of this uh, notice here? And Sandy Amagule joins me this beautiful morning. Good morning and welcome to NTV. Thank you very much, Ivan. Yeah. What do you make of uh, the notice that the university issued? Uh, the, this notice came as a result of uh, the president's voice to the country that it's only going to, okay, he's only going to open um, post-secondary education institutions after they fully comply to vaccination. So it's not the university is making, but it is also national interest when it comes to this. For us, as student leaders, we also accept actually encourage our students to go for vaccination. Me as a person, I'm fully vaccinated. So I will encourage my, my colleagues to do the same. It's not maybe something they are forcing you to die. I'm here, I've not died. My concern to the administration has been, we bring this closer to the students. We have students that come as far as uh, up country where the accessibility to these vaccines may not be like as it is here in urban centers. So my, 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 my urge has been that this has, has to be brought near to them so that even when they come, they should get here, they should access. But also talk to one other student. Good morning and welcome to NTV. Yeah, and what do you make of this university notice that was issued? Uh, thank you so much. Firstly, I think we have... Yeah. I will start by thanking the uh, administration for making it so fine that they have now uh, helped to provide the services on ground to help that uh, they vaccinate the mass students who are around here. And it is so good. But our appeal to the administration is to say that they shouldn't uh, making, uh, make it so, so uh, to that extent that it's a mandatory to every student uh, to first vaccinate and get into the campus. There are some students who are going to come as soon as 1st November to come from the other different places where they have not uh, gotten and their jobs. The yeah, th that's what now we want to do. We want to uh, appeal to the administration that they should now allow students if they come, at least this is the moment where they have to uh, make it a uh, very psychosocial support to students because we've been in the pandemic. Let them now come and get the jobs and then enjoy the... Uh, the, the, well, the uh, for time purposes, gentlemen, let's leave it there, but thank you very much for talking to us. Okay. You're welcome, sir. Well, 
I've just been speaking to the guild leadership of students here at Nkumba University. Uh, also, at the other side, a student on a door, like I said earlier on, when the university requires a mandatory uh, COVID-19 vaccination for all the teaching and teaching staff and students will be accessing the university by 1st uh, of November, as said by the president. But of course, morning at NTV will this time leave Nkumba University and return to the studios. Rami Abusiku, pick it away from me. A very good morning to you and our audience. Well, thank you.